let's get started. You have power in relationship. How do you use it? Or how would you use it? Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do these talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And as I've done this every day, they've accumulated. And so today's is number 410, and I am keeping track. <laughs> and the topic today is um, you have power in your relationship, how to use it. I'm going to speak to that a bit about what I mean by power and also the use and, 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 and misuse of that and how you can do things better, differently, more effectively, more so supportively, et cetera, et cetera. So you're getting where I'm going in a very broad sense of the picture or, or of the sense of the explanation picture. Yeah, whatever it's going to be. So, um, First of all, you have the power to influence your partner's behavior. And I'm not, uh, and I'm going to say this. You can influence them positively or negatively. So I'm going to give you that piece too. The thing about power is that it's, <laughs> this is a quote from Spider-Man. Of course I've got to bring superheroes into this. It was just born back in my mind. I say with great power comes great responsibility. Well, the power you have in your relationship is the power to impact your partner positively or negatively and of course you have to look at, this, look at this in the mirror of how maybe in past relationships your partners have influenced you positively or negatively with their power because power can be something as simple something as blunt as control and controlling your partner is not something I recommend and being controlled by your partner I don't recommend either but some people it works and that, that's a whole other conversation we're not getting into about patterns I, I don't think I'm getting in there but I want to speak to the idea that power is an influencer because it's not always about control. It can be subtle. It could be something like um, you know, the power to change things with your relationship, which could be a wonderful thing. Hi, Bonnie. Nice to have you join me. Thanks for sh showing up. I see Janie in here as well and a few other people. Thanks for being with my broadcast, by the way. Um, and quick aside, but I have to keep doing this now because it keeps happening, is if you don't see these things on the screen, this is because people are joining me on my Facebook Live but you may be watching this in the replay on Facebook Live or also watching it on YouTube where you won't see the comments. Or you may be listening to this on my podcast later on so you won't see the comments either. So the people I'm interacting with, they're real. They're just on my Facebook Live, not in the replay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are real. I can see you. Um, that doesn't help. It still does still sound delusional. All right. Getting back on track and stay, staying with the topic at hand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, the, t the temptation to get loony on this apparently is happening too quickly. So, you have the power to, ch co power to create change with your partner, which again can be positive and negative. All this power I'm talking about is the power to impact somebody else in different ways, and there's a positive way and a negative way. It's the way it works. And my question to you, which I'm going to have you consider whilst I'm talking about this, is how have you been doing that in the past, and how would you like to do it in the future? Because what you've done in the past can't be changed literally, but it can be changed experientially. But how you're going forward in the future, absolutely is under your control. So I want to make sure you have that understanding as we go forward in this talk. Because I want to make sure that there's some value you get from this in case you haven't watched, broad Sorry. In case you haven't watched my broadcast before, I always intend to provide value and benefit for you when you finish listening or watching my broadcast. So that your personal life, your love life, your self-support, your relationships improve. So this is number 410. There's a lot of content I've been providing, and hopefully it's been of use to you. And from the feedback I've gotten, they have been. So, let's get to the topic again, as I was speaking about power. Some of the power that people have can feel like, as I mentioned before, control, limiting, boxing in, containing somebody else, so they have a sense of being able to run the relationship into the ground and do what they want to do with them. And if you've been in a relationship with a narcissist, you know what that's like. Um, narcissistic relationships, one person's always going to end up being screwed. And I mean that energetically, emotionally, and mentally. Sometimes physically too. And that's a, that's a different conversation I don't want to get into here. But it's a piece to be aware of. But on the other side of the coin, which I want to speak to more about this, because I want to talk about the direction I'd like to have you choose to move into, is the power you have to inspire. The power you have to influence, positively that is. Um, the power to awaken your partner. 
Now, there's some things you can do, and this is where I'm really getting to the voice where I love to play myself personally, is that you can bring things into conversation with your partner and do things in your life with your partner that raise their vibration, that raise their way of being, that actually changes the way that they live their life. Now, I do it with my clients, but I do it with my friends too, and friends do it with me. I, I, it's, a, it's a two-way street. We, we benefit each other, and this is a choice you can make, by the way, in your own life, is to surround yourself with people that will raise your own vibration, that will be your inspirers, that will, will um, the power they have to influence your dreams to come true. Now, you have people like that in your life. That's awesome. So why not do that in your primary relationship? Because people seem to sometimes not do that. So a couple of things I want to speak to on that. Um, again, the negative side is the thing which is about force and control and limitation, which some people do in relationships. And it, it, they're out there, and you may know people like that. But I like to speak to the point of view of bringing power into relationship. Actually, no, I need to do one little thing here. Okay, that was the piece I was looking for. Ask the question, get the answer. <laughs> the inner dialogue sometimes is very amusing as I'm trying to talk here I'm getting a whole other conversation going on inside so let me bring this out when two people come to, two people come together it ain't just the body showing up it's the energy of influence the power they bring and that power I'm using the term as a broad stroke but reality is you have impact if you're a human being on this planet you have impact you may not be aware of it you may think it's very small but in relationship, you have a much bigger impact because you're an equal partner. Yes, up to the equality before. In that relationship with somebody else, you have an impact and a way of, of bringing your power into that relationship that can change the whole paradigm of that relationship. Now, if you don't want to do that, you may end up being a passenger in that relationship. And I don't recommend that. I recommend that both you and your partner are fully participating and both driving the relationship. Together, ideally. Not apart, but together. Which means that the power you bring is constructive that was the definition I was going to look for destructive, constructive you can destroy the relationship, destroy your partner which some people do or you can actually be construct constructive and build your partnership up and the reality is there's not exactly a world kept secret the more you uplift and inspire your partner the more you benefit that wasn't a secret by the way, that's the truth there's a powerful gift that when you give it, it comes back to you in ways that are beyond your imagining. So the more you bring your power to bear to make sure your partner's life is better, to make sure your partner's experience is more enjoyable, to make sure your partner is as loved, as inspired, as sexed up as they want to be, is adding to your relationship and it makes it really work. So Jenny, you said, uh, you want to add me, you want to add me? to your Rise Above TV roster of mindful content collaborators. We should talk then. Yes, please, let's talk. Sorry, I mean to read that out loud, but I, I read the comments to see what they are, so people who can't see the comments know what I'm talking about. But that's offline. So yeah, Jenny, let's talk, definitely. I'd love to. Um, bringing it back to the conversation I was on. It's about sex, wasn't I? Yes, briefly. So <laughs> bringing your power as a focus point, uh, this is the other part. Sorry, I'm... I'm I apologize for not having this in a sequential order because I don't have notes and scripts on this stuff. This just stuff drops in. And I'm seeing more pieces of the picture speak, come through as I articulate and speak this out. So, I don't remember what I was just saying because I was so busy trying to make the point about what I was going to say that I'm not sure I remember what I was I was actually saying. The power we bring to bear when we're in a relationship. We are um, influence, influencers in the world. I mentioned this before that we have power in the world. We have power to add or power to subtract. We have power to create and power to destroy. We have power to uplift and power to down, downgrade people. That's unfortunately the way it is. So the choice point is then, is how do you want to do that in your personal life? Because if you don't, sorry, let me phrase that another way. If you do <laughs> bring your power in a way that is positive to those around you, romantically, socially, familiarly, familiarly as well, then those around you will be, will be lifted. Those around you will be inspired. Those around you will be grateful. If you bring the power to control, limit, shut down, force your will on other people, you may feel better temporarily. But I guarantee you this, those around you will leave. 
Those around you won't love you. Those around you will tend to say no. Now, you can control people enough where they'll be convinced that they should say yes, but that's a different story, and we're going to get into the psychological dysfunction of that. But I'm going to say this, that people around you deserve your best. The world deserves your best. And when you're not bringing your power to line up with your heart, your vision, your intention to serve the world, your community, your circle of friends, your relationship, you're doing them a disservice. And for me, as a reminder in my work with my clients as well, is that absolutely you deserve to have that from your friends too, and from your lover, and from your social circle, and from your community. So why not contribute to that as much as you're gonna get it back? We're not passengers here. As I mentioned, you can be a passenger relationship, but it's, it's really tiring because you're not doing anything. Be a participant, both you and your partner. And so in your remote, romantic life, in your social life, in your business life, bring your power to bear as a power for good. So, as I said, a quote from, quote from Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. So why not be responsible for the power you bring? Because truthfully, being a passenger is like being on the Titanic. It's not going to get you anywhere except hitting an iceberg. If you choose to bring your power to bear in a positive way, and I'm starting to get political now because I'm feeling this thing being bigger than just the romantic relationship conversation I was just talking about. I've been watching a lot of, I've been reading a lot of posts today on social media, so I, I forgive me for what I'm about, to, what I might be, what might come through me because I'm feeling something brewing about voting but I'm not gonna <laughs> that's a bit off topic it's not what I'm gonna speak about but here's the thing I'll say it this way just to keep it within the confines of my talk because I don't want to get in politics when I'm doing my broadcast it's not my focus or my message your power is more than you know your ability to influence to create change to inspire to awaken is much more much bigger than you think you know, than you think you have the ability to do So, in your romantic relationships, as much as in any other relationship, socially, community, etc., etc., be willing to accept that responsibility that what, the, what you have to bring is valuable, that what you have to share is valuable, has impact, has worth. If you're going to go around complaining all the time, that's not what I was talking about contributing. That's detrimental. But if you're contributing the inverse or the opposite of that, to inspire, awaken, uplift, inform, then that's the power for good that we all desire and we can all bring. So I'm really this is becoming a pep talk about living life. So be it. We are influencers, all of us. You may only influence our next door neighbor, but we all have influence. And that's a power that we can use for good or not. I'm suggesting for good, as you can tell. My work is around the area, so when you're thinking about how you can sh how you can make a difference, the fact you can get up in the morning, wake up in the morning, you have power to use that day. So bring that into your life, into your love, into your romance, into your family dynamics, to contribute positive ideas, inspirational suggestions, and uplifting talks that make a difference. Jenny's, yes, we can We can all be a superhero for love in relationship and day-to-day -day life, breathe life into, into others. Absolutely, yes, Jenny, we're on the same page. So yes, thank you for that. And that's the thing, is that it's something we have the ability to do regardless. It's not something you save up for, you have to work out for a month where you can do it, or a special event, every day. Every day we can breathe into that, breathe that force, that, that joy, that life, that love into all others. So, yes, Jenny, thank you for, thank you for framing it that way. It was beautifully put. So we can be superheroes, indeed. <laughs> because it's time. I think more now than ever, we are needed to be those, um, I don't want to say to the power, but light bringers, light bearers. Those that bring power, bring service, bring inspiration to our relationships, to our families, to our communities. Because for some people, they don't get that enough. One slight, a little sidebar as a point to make on this. A friend of mine recently I saw was posting about 
feeling depressed and feeling out of it. She's she's not living around the community she was around, and feeling like she's been left out and and feeling pretty pretty down, and thinking about whether she needs to be around anymore. And the power that her friends had, because we all basically posted on her wall and commented and connected with her, to say no, you're needed. Changed her direction. So never doubt that you have power to influence. Never doubt you have power to uplift. And never doubt you have power to inspire. So instead of doubting, get on it. <laughs> bring that power, bring that gift, bring that love to all that you do. And so now I've got Huey Lewis in my head, the power of love. Um, <laughs> this stuff just does that. So, so I'm going to wrap this up by saying that the power of love, I'm trying to imagine, trying to think of the name of the lyrics. I'm remember, yeah, okay, I remember the lyrics, they're not fitting this because this book so much. But bottom line is this, that bringing the power of love to your life, bringing the power of love to your relationships, bringing the power of love to make a change in the world is something that would, would be the best thing you can do. Sound good? Sounds good to me. So, um, I just think there's any more points in that. So thank you for being with me, as always. Thanks for joining in my broadcast, and thanks for sharing your um, comments. Thank you, Janie, for joining in. And thanks for all the hearts and the love and the likes. I appreciate that. I'm just thinking if there's anything else I want to say on that. That's pretty much it. I think the best thing I'm going to say at the end of it is saying this. You have the power of love. Apply it liberally. Okay? Um, quick plugs and quick promos. This is my daily Facebook Live that goes out every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. It also shows up afterwards on my on my Facebook business page, which is Barry Selby author, And then will also be showing up on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. It's also going to be on my podcast. So I've got a podcast channel that I'm loading up slowly but surely, which is all the replays in audio format of these. For those people who like to listen to me when they're driving and want to listen to all my broadcasts back to back, which you can do on my podcast. So just search on, on iTunes for Messages from the Masculine and you'll see my podcast there. There's about 25, 30 broadcasts up so far. This is number 410. I've got more to go, so I'll be uploading more as I get through this. Um, what else? What else? I think that's that. Oh, and if you do want help in this area of love and relationships, of course, I do offer a daily reminder that you can get a get a for me a gift of, for me, which is my my uh, complimentary discovery session, and that's a thirty minute chat between you and me, offline, not here, um, where we can talk and see where you're at, what you're looking for, if I can help you, and move you forward. Um, if you go to barryselby.com, click on the Let's Chat in the left hand side of my navigation, you can find it there. Also, my book is on there, all my other work is on there. My website, again, barrysober.com. You find all my stuff. And uh, and that's it. So, just think if there's any homework I want to give. Because let's just say I usually give homework um, most days. Sometimes I don't, don't need to. But for today, let's see what comes up. Okay. Got it. So I talked about the power of love and about bringing that into the world and about wherever you connect. Any relationship that you have around you, be it romantic, be, be it social, be it family, anything like that, where you have the same routine every time, the same level, the same, if you're at a level four or level five on the, on the volume control, turn up to a seven or an eight. Turn up the juice, bring more love, bring that power out in those connections, see what happens. Experiment, explore, and expand. That's your homework. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here as always. I will see you again tomorrow with number 411. Um, I have some events this week that seem to want to start around 5 p.m., but I'm not going to move those around because I want to get my broadcast on time every day. So see you, I'll see you tomorrow, I presume at 5 p.m., that's the plan. And uh, come join me then. Take care of yourselves. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.